Hi, I'm Ashley Brooke Tucson. And I'm a singer-songwriter from Cleveland, and you're listening to BlackSquirrelRadio.com. say my sound is sweet and soft. Um, a little bit of countryness to it, I, so I've heard um, in folk because I play acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. I walk from an app under the tape. Um, I started playing in coffee shops. I um, played at an open mic in my hometown of Canton. I first started and I play every Tuesday night and I wasn't playing original music yet but I got a good response from people there that I um, gave me confidence to try to write. And so I did and I, I just really got a good response from it and started to play other coffee shops, played at um, people's houses and just you know, tried to do as much of that as I could. Um, played a lot in college, and I took a guitar class. Um, so I just gained my confidence through playing as much as I could. Mm -hmm. moved to Chicago right after college and I, a, a few months um, after I moved there, I, I played open mics all the time when I first moved there and um, I played and met a guy who was friends with a producer who um, actually won Grammys. And, um, so this guy introduced me to the producer and I I met him, and it was a super intimidating experience. Mm -hmm. he, he played the music that he's produced for like some famous people, and you know, he played it super loud. And then after he played it, he's like, okay, play me a song. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but he liked it, and we decided to do a demo, one song, and then just kept turning into more songs. He'd give me a call and say, why don't we do one more song? That turned into a five song EP. Um, so I played a lot in Chicago on my own. I didn't have a band there. Um, I did play with a, a melodica player, um, which was cool. But then I moved back to Ohio and played with a band of people actually that I met um, through this coffee shop that I played open mic at. So I love playing with a band and just a whole different dynamic, playing with just by yourself, um, and it just kind of made me write in a different way too. Mm -hmm. And um, so I guess, long story short, it's like the different um, instruments that have been added in my music. I think have changed my sound and and helped it grow and um, helped where I am today. My heart still beats, I love you so. Um, it, uh, I don't know, a lot of ways it's the same. It's just, I've, I've learned that um, if you play a good show, if people will come, it doesn't matter what city you're in, mm. you know, if you get a good turnout and you have people that come back, it really doesn't matter where you are. Mm. If you build some kind of following. Um, but with that being said, too, I mean, Chicago's a lot bigger city than Cleveland, where I live now, and it's kind of intimidating, but, you know, big city feel. But. What's the best, I guess, local show you've played around here, or maybe best venue, or either? Um, well, I really enjoy uh, the Beach Lamb, which is where I'll be playing an EP release show. Um, but I. Probably one of my best um, local shows was kind of a, a 
Dream Like show. I played with um, this country music legend, Don Williams, at the Akron Civic Theater. Um, and I played for like 900 and some people. So it was like, you know, not a typical show of, of mine for sure, but it was like, you know, I, I played with them in Akron and then in West Virginia. And both shows were like a lot of people, so it was like, kind of felt like a star. <laughs> <laughs> is my EP release show, and then May 20th is when I'm releasing it um, online. The smell of sweet sauce on the stove. Um, it was very DIY mm -hmm. feel. Um, I worked with my pianist, Spencer Martin. Um, he's also a producer and um, just recorded in his studio, um, which was on the third floor of his apartment in North Canton. Um, so it was very home-like feel, you know. um, but it was a great experience and I loved working with Spencer because, he, you know, we know each other well from playing, he plays in my band and um, he gave a lot of input and we work, definitely work together and he's a super enthusiastic person so you know he'd get excited just as excited as I was about mm -hmm. these songs and um, yeah definitely felt like it was you know as much of his project as mine so sing you stories you'll forever see yeah I'm actually gonna do a, a little tour um, in June out east um, it's going to be it, my first family vacation slash tour. Um, so I have that, and then I have some shows planned around Cleveland um, in the summer. As the finest form of yeah, I, I hope to just continue making music and playing good shows. Um, I always like traveling and meeting new people, so I hope that is on the horizon too. All my senses will be carried by um, well, I've played in California, so I guess that's yeah. the furthest. Um, but pretty much if, I, if I'm going to visit someone, or I always try to play a show mm -hmm. or two, so. I played in Washington State too. Bye, Jane. I think it's been good for the most part. Um, it's definitely like instant gratification, like you know, sharing something and then someone liking it right away or commenting mm -hmm. on it, and so you get you know feedback instantly, which is nice. Um, yeah, I, there's so many different platforms, it's kind of overwhelming to like try to stay, you know, up to date on you know, how to reach the most people or, um, you know, when's the best time of day to write a post or something, it's kind of stressful too. Mm -hmm. Talking on the phone. Always unprepared for this question, so I was really thinking about it when I was driving. Um, well, currently in my CD player, in my car is the newest, I don't know how new it is anymore, but uh, Broken Bells album. Um, but really, what I've been listening to a lot of, um, I love Doris Day. She's probably my go to feel good music. Um, I love her style and singing in her movies. Um, I just am very inspired by that era, so I um, gravitate to her that. But also um, I listen to a lot of Sesame Street music and um, Miffy the Bunny, a cartoon. <laughs> um, they, 
listen to that stuff with my 10 month old. So. <laughs> <laughs> easy question because I have a song about ice cream that I would love <laughs> yeah. to uh, be in the commercial for ice cream. Um, a couple of years ago, actually several years, years ago now, my husband and I wrote a song about ice cream sandwiches in particular um, that I still sing at shows every once in a while. As the finest form of He's not musical okay. himself. He um, he gives me great ideas, mm -hmm. um, but he's got good taste in music. And, yeah. Okay.